All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate in mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale. Today, we're going to start off on Lil' Soul. Got an exciting thing to show you guys. Now, this is a legendary chest. We don't want to miss out on this value. Yes, we cannot upgrade anything in our deck. Even if we got a Lava Hound or a Miner, we could not upgrade it due to the fact that it would put us to level 8. But it is nice to get a legendary when you can, so we might as well grab it. What would I want? That's tough. I would either want a Lava Hound to get it to level 2 because the pups would be stronger then. A Miner to 2 a log or an ice wizard so there's a lot of options for me let's see what we can get come on baby let's go sparky to two are you kidding me this is insane i did not want a freaking sparky i hate that chest summary sparky to level two for 500 gems totally not worth it so after that awful legendary chest opening we're gonna get into some replays show you guys some matches of me pushing to an all-time high going against higher level players with higher level cards and show you how to dominate with this deck highly recommend it to anybody that does need it so let's get right into it all right so this first match we're getting into we're going against rubino i'm gonna put it in two times speed he's got a hog rider he's got a minion horde he's got that skeleton army so it's definitely things i need to be aware of it's unfortunate I don't have that furnace that I love on my main account, but the arrows have saved me in so many places in this deck that I would never take them out. Now my Mega Minion hopefully takes out, it damages the wizard just enough to almost kill it, but of course it does not. So this wizard does become a pain, gets a shot off on my Musketeer. Now my Miner's moving in towards the back, he drops a very stupid, stupid peck. That's what I was saying when I saw this, when I was playing this match, but then the P.E.K.K.A somehow some way I believe manages to get a shot off actually the P.E.K.K.A takes the tower okay and I was like wow wow that P.E.K.K.A was annoying so my miner almost takes the tower down baby dragon takes out spear goblins does not take out the wizard or even damage it so now I send in my musketeer to the right because I realize I need to start pushing that way to take that tower down because the left is pretty much locked up with a minor or two arrows regardless of what I have to use I can take it out he's got the P.E.K.K.A moving in with spear goblins cannon and a wizard defending his tower now this P.E.K.K.A brings over his body the other P.E.K.K.A with a hog rider my mega minion musketeer take it out because the hog rider is only level five it's not too much to worry about lava hound in the corner to distract he sends in that skeleton army my miner is smacking away at that wizard i freaking love it lava pups doing massive amounts of damage baby dragon musketeer both get distracted by a perfectly placed P.E.K.K.A. Much respect to that placement. He knew it was coming. Now I drop a tombstone for that hog rider. Musketeer in the corner popping necessary shots off on that tower. Mega Minion gets destroyed. Baby Dragon's moving in. Arrows hit the tower. Mega Minion's moving in. Can we take it down? The Musketeer. Two seconds left in overtime. Crying faces. Be sad. Let's get into another one. This one's a fun one. There's a card I don't even think I see this entire match. Gonna crank this one into two times speed two. He's got the princess, the graveyard, the miner, and he's a level eight. I'm like, how is this dude getting so many legendaries? He's got the tombstone fireball minion zap. Okay, we have not seen that Electro Wizard yet, but now we do. I don't believe he comes out once this match. Lava Hound Mega Minion moving in for serious damage on the tower. Pups finally bust out. Princess gets one shot off, but then my miner takes it out, able to take down the tower. So now it's even drop. About two minutes left in the match. I say thanks. He's a level eight. I'm a level seven. So this is definitely going to be a more even leveled match than me going against the 10, which I usually see. So Lava Hound's moving in. This is what you don't want to do. He gets cocky with the graveyard on the king tower. Yes, he got a significant amount of damage done, but he didn't take it. And that's what he made a mistake on. Then he's using useless fireballs. Next thing you know, the tides have turned. Okay, he's crying out. I say thanks. You got cocky, bro. You messed up. Couple of BMs back and forth. Let's get into another one. The next few matches I'm going to put into 4 times speed. I'm doing this so we can get through them. Show you guys this deck against a few different types of deck. You don't see the clone a lot. I'd say the clone's good for the first time you put it down in the match if played properly. But I would say if you're a good player and you see that if you get messed up on the clone the first time, 
that's understandable. No one's really expecting it. But after that fact, the clone should not really get you again. And did you see how he cloned that? I used my Lava Hound on defense to distract those clone pups and those real pups to distract, pull them away from my tower so I took minimal damage from that. Another reason why I wanted to show you, you can use all your cards any way you want to. Offense, defense, it just has to be the right scenario. Those arrows took out Minion Horde clone perfectly. I was waiting for it. That's what you guys got to do. You got to play yourself. When you see their cards, what would you do next? Let's get into another one. This is another one that I did want to show you because of a certain card. He's got level 10, I believe Elite Barbarians, and a Rocket. Rocket's always annoying. Ice Golem, that's an annoying card, and it's cheap, too. He rockets my Mega Minion. He hit it perfectly. That was very well played. Now, there is the Elite Barbarians. I distract with the Tombstone, do damage with the Baby Dragon, but he still did a ton of damage to my left tower, and I can't stand that. Okay, Musketeer Miner moving in, doing the damage it needed to do to take the tower down. Now the Elite Barb got another shot off. He's got, I got my minion moving in. He now needs to rocket my tower again to take it. I'm not going to let him take it with a bomber. He needs to invest more elixir into that left side to take it down. And that's what he needed to do. He needed to spend 12 elixir just to stay in the game and still play defense. Now, mind you, he is still up. But now I'm moving in for the kill. Musketeer doing needed, needed shots to the tower. Lava Hound moving in with the miner. He rockets. He's desperate. We take the tower down. Let's get into one more. This is the last match we're going to get into. Like I said, we're going to put it in 410 speed. He does a ridiculous amount of damage with that Goblin Burrow Miner. The amount to probably switch the match up unless this does happen. He plays a terrible Inferno Tower. My Miner Lava Pup is able to take the tower down. So now the match is back in play. It's pretty much even. He's a level 9. He's got a severe advantage on me, but I am a tower up. Now I distract that giant skeleton really nicely. And now he's got to move in with another minor goblin barrel i stopped that but it's 200 damage left so i know that tower is basically his i need to start moving to the right start developing a push over there so that i can destroy him in the end he's got witch ice wizard giant skeleton to shut down my push a perfect fireball to get rid of the lava post before you could really even see him so now i have baby dragon musketeer lava hound moving in with a miner and it's doing a lot of and I like it. 514 left on his right. He's still got about 1400 left on my right. Minor Musketeer, take it for the dub. Let's check this deck out one more time. Alright, like I said, this is the deck that I have been rocking. I haven't changed it in a while, and I'm not going to change it until I get to Legendary Arena and can do some upgrades. Now, I can upgrade the guards, but it would put me to 8, and that's not something I want to do until I do get to Legendary Arena. So, this is the deck I am sticking with. Now, recommendations for you guys watching if you want to try using this deck. Obviously, you can't take out the Lava Hound. That is the push. I'd say the only card you can take out because you don't have it, I would assume, is the Miner. All these other cards, you guys should have them, and if you guys do have them, upgrade them and then put them in your deck. Now, for the Miner, I would switch the Miner out for a few things. If you guys have the Log, I'd put the Log in. If you don't have the Miner or the Log, now we're thinking just straight non-legendaries because if you do have another Legendary, i put the Ice Wizard in. But non-legendary cards, I would put in the Minions. I'd put in the Ice Ice Golem, because the Ice Golem's going to allow you to have a little bit more leeway with what you play on defense due to the Tombstone and the Guards. So, Minions, Ice Golem, or I would say a Zap if you have a high enough level one. If it's a low level Zap, don't put it in. But those are my recommendations for you guys. First pick would be Minions, then Ice Golem, then Zap. But with that being said, guys, all my social media handles are right there. Boom, 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 boom. Links are down in the description. Check them out. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe down below, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.